I work in a doctor's office and I remember I would go out to get a patient and literally have to walk 20 feet to get them in a room. I would sit down and I couldn't breathe just from that 20 feet walk. Always been overweight, getting more weight on every time after I had a kid. It was a struggle trying to keep up with them. My youngest one in particular was very upset for me being overweight and I remember him writing me a letter that broke, you know, broke my heart reading it, you know, that they, they want you to live. They want you to be around and they want us to take care of ourselves. I think a lot of patients that are obese feel like the world's kind of turned on them and so we, they come here and, and they know they have an ally and we're on their side. I had one pair of jeans at the very, very end that was a size 26 and those were to where I had to sew them, iron, little patches on them to try to keep them together because I couldn't find another another pair of jeans. And when I found out our doctors were doing the sleeve and I was like, I'm on board. I want this done. I want it so bad. So that they've made a very bold and, and brave decision to, to make this lifestyle change, to get control and say, I'm going to take control of my own fate and I'm going to have this surgery. After surgery, you know, I went home. Everything was good. Every morning I, I would weigh and you're like, Wow, I just lost five more pounds from yesterday. People do lose weight rapidly early on, but they have to maintain that. And to maintain that, it takes commitment. And I've maintained for four years. You can never say that, ever. As soon as you lose the weight, you're going, going right back up. Once you start losing the weight though, you want to keep going. It's the part that allows people to have that initial success and that sustained success and then we add in the dietary components and the behavioral components. At work, I'll run up and down the stairs a couple times. I like to go for walks. I've gone to Belize three times to visit my sister. First time was nine months after surgery and I was down 96 pounds at that time. Uh, it was awesome to sit in the airplane without the seat extender. When you see people come back at 30 and 60 and 90 days or six months or a year and they've lost 80 or 100 pounds and you can see that for the first time now they have confidence and they have the confidence to go out and take the world on and they feel so much better. That makes it worth it. It's, it's the most rewarding surgery I do. This was my journey. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm going to be around a lot longer to be with my family, with my husband, with my kids.